Bed Bath Steps Explained Part 1 and Nursing R247. That's his bathing efficient in bed. That is complete bed bath, which is very different from assisted bed bath. So you have to, first of all, is inform the patient about the task. What are you coming to do? And you have to use the opportunity to seek consent. Yes, and you also need to ask the patient if she would like to visit the washroom or use a bedpan before the procedure. After all this, you bring your trolley. Now you screen the, the, the patient's bed. Yes, when you screen the patient's bed, then you perform hand hygiene. I always say that it's more appropriate to wash your hands at the beginning of each procedure than to use hand sanitizer. So take note and correct that. Then you explain the procedure proper. This is what, how you are going to tell the patient exactly what you are going to do. The steps involved, any invasion of privacy, any form of discomfort to expect. Patients will to play the importance of the task. You can just say all this by summarizing everything. Yeah, so she is telling the patient that she's going to bath her in the bed. They won't pour water on her, but they will rather mop the soup from her, use a towel to clean the soup, and um, use the opportunity to massage her, massage her back. Yes. And they will be invading her privacy a lot, so though they are not going to expose her nakedness. So you tell the patient that this procedure you are going to do is with an assistant. You can't do it alone. So you introduce your assistant as well for the patient to know. After explaining everything, then you have to mix your water. Um, the items for the bed bath were not shown, but I think I have it in another video. So you take note of the items there. So you mix your water and pour cold water and add the hot water so you get the, the temperature that you need. So let me spell the items out. On the top shelf, you need two jugs of water, one for the cold, one for the hot. This one, she, she made the patient test the temperature if it's appropriate. As you go on, I'll be mentioning the items. So you have to turn patient to one side with the help of the assistant and you put a long Macintosh on the bed to cover the bottom sheets and the pillow. Then you put a bath blanket on it because you don't want patient to lie on the bed. Then you turn the patient to your side, support the patient while the assistant lays the other half of the bed. Please. Um, where where disposable gloves for the procedure yeah so you lay the bed neatly and patients will now be lying on the bath blanket so i was talking about the items you need you also need two basins or bowls one to mix water one to receive used water so this one she inquired from the patient if the patient prefers to use soap on the face Individuals are unique people. Some people use face, some don't use. So you have to inquire. So after asking, you have to, depending on the answer, if she uses soap, you add soap to the towel. If she doesn't, you clean with water. You clean the face from the inner cantus of the eye to the outer cantus. You clean the ears, you clean the neck. Yes. So when you are done with the face and the neck, now you come to the other parts of the body. Yes, by now they have already assisted patient to remove the clothing. Don't forget, the clothing is already removed. So the assistant will start her part face by washing the patient in strokes. So she uses soap and so sponge soaked in soap and then wash it after that she cleans with the wet towel. Yes, you have to pay attention to the armpit also in strokes from the prosma to the distal in strokes like that yes you clean the palm in between the fingers everywhere so the assistant will finish then the main performer will now do her part too don't forget so you see how they are doing it. So part of the towel will rinse, part of the towel will clean or dry.